I don't know if I'm doing anything. I think this rubber is just like, it slipped on over this and it's tight. Oh, you're getting it. I just, yeah, the rubber has just been there. Are you kidding me? It's just squeezed on? Yeah. Oh my God. There we go, step one. I can't one. believe that was just stuck on there all those years. Well, there it is. Crazy. There's the space. If you guys aren't picking up already, what we're about to do is that today we start on this door. And I've been putting it off and putting it off because it's you know, I, I like doing fabrication and stuff, but metal fabrication is hard because if you make a mistake, it's really hard to fix those. And so versus wood, you just cut another piece of wood and screw it in. Metal's different. You got to unweld and that's not fun. But we, the bus is getting done enough that if somebody were to come in here and do something nefarious, like I don't know if I'd recover, my soul would be scarred. <laughs> Because we put so much time and effort into this. So, um, we've got to put a lock on this door. We've got to get this bus secure, oh, people. Man, I didn't even see this edge. It's so narrow right here. Boy, that's not good. That's not good at all. You know, I just pictured these things in my mind being the standard oval glass and stuff like that. It's not. How do we put a, a door handle on this bus is the question. We got all this glass and we can't like, I can't notch out of the glass to put a door handle in here. So what do I do? I bought the lock already. <laughs> yeah. And, and not realizing that this is totally different than I remember it. Is there any other kind of door handle or latch that an unusual style. What about like think outside the box, That's like what I'm trying to do right now. Boat doors or something like that. I can like put it that. down there. That would be goofy too. I see now why people have problems with this. Well, the other side of this. This is one piece of glass right here. We could cut it. Cut out a piece of that. Put in our own door lock section right here. And just cut the glass and reinsert it uh -huh. at the top and bottom. Uh -huh. This isn't normal glass though, so I don't know how well it cuts. It's got the plastic inside uh, of it. Oh, it's wind, it's windshield glass, so probably well, the regular. I don't know how. Not windshield, but automotive, whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure proof. how it cuts. So this is <laughs> going to be a an interesting project. But if we did cut that and put in our own piece right here, then I can make it work. It's gonna be some crazy drilling though. And what if it didn't work? What if we freaking ruined the glass? I know. Like then what's our backup plan? Like I now know. we have a disaster to recover from. Yeah, big one. Oh, I see what they did here. So it have its own little frame? This thing? whole thing comes out in oh, one. Oh, there might still be a few screws holding it in. Down at the, you know what I mean? Maybe. Hold it in. These might be a part of it, I don't know. <laughs> that is one heck of a nylon, nylock bolt right there. He waits till we're practically done to get the right tool. Way better. Bus fit, baby, bus fit. That is bus fit. You can do it. I wasn't planning on working out today. Oh. <laughs> My fingers. I'm all sissy la la. <laughs> now we finally got that off, then we can take this off. Hello. Hey, what are you doing? Well, there's no more time like the present to figure this out. Where do you want the handle? Should we put it right at where it was on the window already? It needs to be reachable from the inside, but you're going to step down to it. 
No, you'll probably stay on this right. step to open it. So that is so good. right up there. That so is a good cut spot. Right there. Do it. You want to get your glass cutter? We're doing it in the bus. It's the only flat place we got. Now, how much of the glass still needs to come? like down into that portion and what's going to catch it and hold it what's going to hold this piece up like once i'm going to build something to hold it all <gasps> did you just f up dude if it breaks bad right here then, then we'll move the thing up we'll just up. make a bigger bigger thing to to I conform yeah Okay, well, this is here we go. Now you have to score the other side no, first. No, you don't. I just watched the whole video on how to do this. There. Now we flip it. And it looked like it broke on the bad one. That's all right. Because now we can put a big piece of metal in there that can accommodate a lock easily and make it all work versus what we were trying to do before, which was yeah, lodge which some crazy idea. But then YouTube U came through and I watched one video on how to cut laminated glass. One, I'll link it in the video description below. Now we're back in business to build our uh, original design for the door, which is super cool, and it won't look too much different than what we already have here, because we have this right here, which is really ugly, and we should take it off and do something with that, um, right here, and now we're going to have the same thing going across this one right here, except what everybody's not going to know is it's going to be this thick, and it's going to have a whole lock mechanism in here. Not only is it going to be a, the best design we could possibly hope for, it's going to be super strong because this is going to be a solid piece of metal attached to a solid piece of metal. This is safety glass that's really hard to break and get through. So they put on the outside like doors on stores. And if you try to get through that, you're just going to be working and working and working to get through it. And then we're going to tie it into this with a giant piece of metal here that even makes it even more strong. This is awesome. This is a great design. So I'm really so happy that that cut. I just figured we might as well just jump in and do it because either it's gonna work or it's not gonna work and we're gonna have to change your plans. So, and it worked. And I'm gonna have to cut this out to accommodate this piece all the way out and then put a flat piece where the, all the door mechanism will be right here. It's a big fab. I think we should add to this instead of adding to this. And here's why. Because if we add to this, we narrow our door. If we add to this, our door is bigger Wide. than it's ever been. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think that's the better idea. Mm-hmm, I do too. So we'll add to this. Oh, come on now. One stupid holdout. This is going to be a big fabrication job. But in the end, it's going to be really amazing. That's not coming off, man. Just broke it off. Soon. Get out. That's right. Well, 
something not right. There it is. Oh, you got it. Oh my God, it's really heavy. Guess what's getting cut off today? I'll wow. give you one guess. Dun, dun, dun. That yep. craziness. All this is getting cut off too. Which is... Going a little door weight loss program. <laughs> the Michael King weight loss program. That's right. He'll cut it right off you. Cut pounds. <laughs> and inches. So this is becoming more and more manageable as we do this. Because now we've cut the glass and we'll be able to make our um, addition right here, right here. We could just weld this together, which would even give us more room. Space. Because it picks up another quarter inch right there. So definitely grinding that off. And I'll put on oh, that really heavy glass. Okay, so, and I'll put on something that puts these, makes these seams look nice right here. Just a little, little piece of metal like this. Over, yeah, That like seams the whole thing. And uh, I'll take this glass out too so that we can weld on it without it. So we have to add a piece of metal right here, but it needs to be about one and a half inches thick. And so it's gonna be this tall and it's gonna stick out back here like this. And that will accommodate the doorknob that we cho chosen. And when we get to that, you're gonna love it. It's so cool, man, I love it. Carrie wanted a door that you could do, 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 do to get in. I wanted a door you could go do to get in. So we got this both in one. So it's actually three ways. You can use a key, you can use a fingerprint, or you can use the thing. And what I really wanted to do is be able to protect Carrie when I'm at work. So that if somebody comes over here, they can't just walk into the bus. That if she goes into the house, the door is just going to close behind her and lock. And no one can sneak up and sneak in the bus and get her. Or if she needs to run in the house, she could just dump her in, get in, close the door, and you know, then be able to call and arm herself if necessary. And so she's not that surprised. So I wanted that. This stuff here is really hard to get through. You might be able to crack the glass, but if to get through here, is gonna take you a long time and you're gonna get cut to shreds trying to get through this stuff. So trying to break in and go through this stuff isn't really an option. It's, it, this is very secure stuff. So the next thing to do is to make the whole door lockable. Now the cutoff wheel is done, so we have to go back to the grinder. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that to happen. I was. You broke our door. I broke the door. You completely wrecked our door. Like we don't even have a door now. We don't even have a door. We have scraps of metal and glass. Just scraps. Mike the Destroyer. <laughs> you thought this would be easy. You thought this door would stand to time indefinite, but it didn't. I'm sure everybody on the internet appreciates my new face mask. You've been freaking out that I don't even wear safety glasses. Do you need your gloves? No. <laughs> I really thought this thing would have fallen off by now. What in the name of science? That is a really good hinge. But not good enough for me. We're gonna have to chop some of this door off and there's just no way about it. And the problem is, if you look at the top right here, there's only like just a tiny little piece right here. And that's really not enough. I need to grind this thing off before we go because I need to butt these two together right in this space and measure this space because this is the crucial space. So let's make a lot of noise. Make some noise. Put your grinders together, people. Oh. That was 
this. I almost killed my girlfriend. <laughs> and the camera. Oh, well, did a horrible day. Hard to place a camera. I just did it. I love you. I love you so mm -hmm. much. So the width of this is 33 and 13 sixteenths. Up here, it's 34 and a quarter. 34 and a quarter? <laughs> yeah. Like it's way off. So we're gonna have to jimmy this side. So we need a two inch piece of metal right here by say seven feet. One inch strap, uh, about three feet of it. We might even have that. Four inch by two inch tubing if he's got it. And two inch strap, seven feet. Will you climb in there and turn that off? I'm gonna knock the door down, my big fat ass. This is a big chunk of metal, peoples. Big chunk of metal for our big security super safety door. Ooh. Okay, that is exactly four inches. That means exactly eight inches of buffness is about to be added to this door. So here's what's going on with our door. We took the door apart to try to figure out a plan for how to remake it into a new front door. And then he just kept taking it more apart and more apart and more apart. It's all apart now. All the parts are apart. And now we have to put it back together. And we have to add a few pieces. This is grown up Legos. It's real Minecraft. We are shortening the frame using a chop saw. You're chopping the door to pieces. Just say it. Call it like it is. Cutting it to pieces! the beautiful weld you just welded because you forgot to add two inches to the width of the door.
directly under the bus. I don't think we've ever done this before. We had to make a windshield shield. This is it, man. I think we can attach. Is this the moment of truth? At least one of them. Got it? Can't believe we did. Works. I like it. Uh, it takes a second for it to open. It's not like instantaneous, but like... Without having to need your keys to go in and out, in and out, in and out all the time. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's great. All right, let's set yours up. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna put this part on camera. Oh, oh, baby, don't cry. Don't cry. Oh, I want to be with you every second of my life. Mm -hmm. I know your world is hollow. Yeah. Cause I can see it in your eyes. 